Hey there, it's teacher Elizabeth here with another art tutorial for you. Today's video celebrates the spirit of the wolf. The wolf symbolizes guardianship, ritual, and loyalty. It's a spirit guide that reminds us to trust our own instincts. There are three kinds of wolves, the gray, Ethiopian, and red. You can find wolves all over the world in North America, Europe, Asia, and North Africa. They hunt and live in packs of six to 10 animals, travel 12 miles in a single day, they eat a lot, up to 20 pounds in one sitting, and they communicate with one another by howling to establish their territories. Let's go ahead and listen to some of that howling now. How awesome was that? All right, let's move on to what you're going to make today. You are going to create the quintessential wolf howling at the moon. But before we get started, I need to go over the art materials with you. You're going to need two sheets of paper, a pencil, and black, blue, purple, and white colored pencils. Now take one of those first sheets of paper and draw two circles. One's gonna be a little bit bigger than the other, and one's gonna be a little bit at a diagonal to the other. Then you're gonna connect those two circles with these curved lines that are gonna be the top of the back and the bottom of the belly. After that, you're gonna draw a rounded triangle. It's sort of like a blade shape. Next, you're gonna go for the tail. Just think about a regular dog tail. Any shape mostly will do. Next, we're going for the legs where you're just going to give me two skinny rectangles coming straight down. And then when we move to the back, we're gonna have those two rectangles be a little bit at an angle, a little bit diagonal. Then we need to add details to those back legs by adding curved lines around them to represent the back hind haunch. The back legs don't go straight down they go straight down and then they angle sharply like I'm showing you in the drawing right now. After that, we're gonna go up to the head. We're gonna draw a circle for the skull. And the next thing we're gonna draw is an opening for the muzzle, for his mouth. Next, I'm going to add a little detail of the fur coming down his neck into his chest and then going to the top of the head and indicating just slightly an ear. When they're howling, their ears get a little bit pinned back. After that, I put a little bit of detail on his shoulder and back all the way to his back end. After that, I drew the cliff that he is standing on. And I'm going to now just shade in the whole drawing as a silhouette. It's very simple. Please don't worry about getting really detailed right now. This is just for practice. All right, now let's start the final project. You're gonna repeat all the steps you just took. You're gonna go to the center of your paper. You're gonna draw two circles. You're gonna connect those circles with two curved lines. Then you're gonna draw that blade shape, that rounded triangle shape. You're gonna draw the circle for the skull. You're gonna draw a little shape for the ear, the opening of the mouth, and then the little bit of fur on his neck and chest and then move on to his front legs, just those two skinny rectangles. Move on to the back with the diagonal rectangles, the curves that represent the haunches attaching to the backside and the underside of the form, and then the angle from the top of the leg to the lower part of the leg. Next, we're just drawing that curved diagonal line that represents the cliff that the wolf is howling from. And then what I'm gonna do is add the tail and more details, which will be the curve of the back and shoulders, maybe a little bit of textured line to indicate fur. And then I'm just gonna shade in the whole thing into one silhouette. Next, we get to draw in the moon. So just do your best job of drawing a big circle behind his head. 
go ahead and erase it back a little bit so the line's not too dark. And then we get to start with the color. So first I'm starting with the blue, but I'm not pushing down very hard. I lightly outlined the moon with the blue, and now I'm shading around the moon, very lightly. Next, I'm taking a white colored pencil, going over the blue, it creates a nice blendy effect. And then I'm gonna move to the dark blue again. This time I'm going to push down harder to make a darker blue. So it goes from a white to a light blue, to a dark blue, to a blue purple, to a purple. So you see now I'm adding all of the purple in the background, slightly on top of the blue, but slightly outside of it. Now I'm coming in with the black and overlapping the purple. Notice I'm not going to pitch black right away. Color always works better if you do it in layers. So now I'm layering the blue over every single part with the exception of the center and the light, light blue around the moon. I'm not showing you here every single minute I took to layer the color on my picture, but I can't stress enough how much better your picture will look if you keep layering up the color. And that white colored pencil does a great job of blending the blues together. So go ahead and layer over the blues and maybe even to, to the purples a little bit with that white colored pencil. Next, you're going to fill in the silhouette and the rock with black, very straightforward. Layer the black just like you did all the other colors. All right, you've done it. You've made your wolf howling at the moon. Thank you so much for being with me today and being creative. Please share what you've made and have a fantastic rest of your week.